Yo, it was a good job. I really just want to talk about recordings right now. I'm probably gonna add in some more information, but I really just want to talk about how much recordings have transcended to where our ear is so trained now that we know good quality for bad quality. You know what I'm saying? Where as any quality, if we heard it first, it was good to us because it was able to be tracked and picked up, which is crazy. You know what I'm saying? When you think about it. But right here, I'm gonna talk about how started and how they transcended to 2022 so as we're going down the rabbit hole okay this is a little disclaimer side sidebar side note i'm feeling a little better uh maybe heard a little much in my voice about how i'm sounding if i'm so a little sick i'm so a little sick but i'm coming off the sickness so getting back into everything so the history of sound recording we're gonna start I think it started in 1877. I took some notes here now, so I'm a little more educated. I sound a little more, you know, on top of things. So the acoustic era is what I'm talking about. It started in 1877, and it went to 1925. So the, I I did some research. I didn't write notes on the acoustic era. I just kind of era. I just kind of talked about. Hey, this is an era that where most of sound recording kind of started that we can think of. You know what I'm saying? Because sound has always been around, but it's like the first recording that we can think about it probably came from this era or you know I'm saying the next era after this one. so what i found was some type of phonograph i might put a picture here i may not but if if it's here this is a phonograph and this is probably the thing that was doing the sound recording in the acoustic era where it was a little a big like phone you know kind of looks like a vinyl type you know what i'm saying it was something like the vinyl type megaphone trumpet a, a large and you know sound would be recorded in that and you would hear it back out through that that giant opening and then 1925 was the start of the electrical era an electrical era was probably a tape recorder or i believe it was something it was an electrified phonograph and that's what I was talking about before, where it was the the opening that looked like it was a vinyl, where on some vinyls, there would be, you know, like a, a giant opening or a giant like horn trumpet type of brass. And as it transcended into the electrical era, it became, you know, flatter. They had a, a stylus that vibrates and uses disc and amplifies that sound because it's electrical now instead of being you know more so antique let's put it that way whereas before it was the needle now it's a stylus and i this is the best way a phonograph is the best way that i can kind of explain like you know a modern day vinyl and also an antique vinyl well not a vinyl just yeah phonograph phonograph is what it's played on vinyl is the I apologize if I'm saying that a lot, but yes, that is the electrical era where it kind of electrified a phonograph. And this era ended in 1945, but we still some see some of these today and they're more electrified, digitized, and you know what I'm saying. So a little, you know, peek ahead. But right now we're going to go into the magnetic era, which started in 1945 and ended in 1975. So the magnetic era kind of started cassettes. That This is when cassettes started because they made magnetic tape, which was folded into these little cassettes and you can pop them into uh, radio, uh, possibly another vinyl or anything. And it plays the sounds out loud. You know what I'm saying? I think this is probably one of the more so coolest ones cassettes are very cool i would want to get my hand on the cassette um they also remind me of uh vhs's and things like that where it's just like this roll of magnetic tape that has all these things you know recorded on it it's really really cool and the digital era 1975 to now this era is really really insane there's really so many ways to sit here and to try and define it um <laughs> uh, there's microphones there's speakers there's I, I i can't even sit here and try to find which one it that started 
this method of recording, but as it is now, it is so well known. And, you know, I just want to go back and talk about the magnetic era and digital eras where we had MP3 players, you know, little audio recorders. And it's just so many, so amazing seeing this, just the, uh, the, the progress of sound recording and how much it has transcended to where we need to find, we need to make constantly make certain things to record better and listen better. But it, it's, it's, it's an amazing thing. But with that, y'all, it's been choosing and I'm out. Thank you.